subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Every other week, we make an interesting finding in the field of anthropology that lends us valuable clues into the evolution of our own species. Anatomically modern humans emerged in Africa about 300,000 years ago and behaviorally modern humans came into being about 150,000 years ago or so, definitely about 75 years ago in Africa and then migrated outwards in multiple waves. But how our early ancestors lived with other human cousin species and how those species disappeared is a big mystery that we are still trying to uncover. In this video, we'll look at the genus Homo and the species under this like Homo sapiens, Neanderthals and more. We'll also look at what we know so far about how all these human cousins lived together, how they interbred, what our own genes tell us about these other human species and what we think happened to them. I'm Sandhya Ramesh and this is Pure Science. If we look at the timeline of human evolution, it goes something like this. Life began some 4.1 billion years ago. Multicellular organisms first evolved about 2.1 billion years ago. The first land animals came about 365 million years ago. Mammals came to be 255 million years ago. Primates came 85 million years ago. And finally, the hominids or the ancestors of the great ape came about some 18 million years ago. The last common ancestors of humans and chimpanzees is thought to have lived about 10 to 5 million years ago and then we see full bipedalism or the ability to walk on two feet in the Australopithecus about 3.5 million years ago. Many of us might have heard of one specimen of the Australopithecus called Lucy. It is a really well-preserved skeleton of a female Australopithecus that lived 3.2 million years ago. It was discovered in 1974 in Ethiopia and the skeleton consisted of about 40% of the entire bone system. The skeleton was called Lucy because the paleoanthropologists who were excavating at the time there were playing the Beatles song Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. From the skeleton, we could also tell that Lucy could eat a plant-based diet. She had a ribcage structure that allowed for a larger stomach and longer intestine to digest plant matter. Even the structure of the jaws indicated plant-based food was being consumed primarily, but the mandible or lower jaw bone was more gorilla-like in appearance. We do not know how Lucy died. She was 12 years old, she had a disease in her spine and she likely fell from a tree, although not everyone agrees on the tree theory. After Lucy's time arrived the actual Homo Homo, our ancestors. About 2.5 million years ago, Homo habilis started to use tools. We have evidence of this from this time period in Eastern Africa and outside of Africa we can date stone tools to about 2 million years ago found in China. Then 1.9 million years ago Homo erectus arrived. Homo erectus was the first to make use of fire and interestingly also coexisted with Homo habilis for about half a million years. Homo erectus was the first species to spread out through Africa and Asia. It is thought that this species is the ancestor to multiple other human species including the ones that eventually gave rise to Neanderthals and Denisovans. Then for a bit there we don't know what happened in the timeline. We think that Homo heidelbergensis which is the ancestor to Neanderthals and Denisovans could also have been the ancestor to us to modern Homo sapiens. But we don't have confirmation of this yet. The theories we have to go on have a lot to do with DNA and how much of Neanderthal DNA is present in human DNA and vice versa and how much of genetic material we share which leads us to conclude that our ancestors interbred and thus were extremely closely related anatomically. Homo sapiens came about 300,000 years ago. The earliest fossil evidence we have is that of stone tools dating back to this time in Morocco. 
Our ancestors kept evolving in behavior and until about 50,000 years ago were still interbreeding with Neanderthals and Denisovans who were now prevalent throughout Eurasia, while Homo sapiens of course came from Africa. But then, sometime about 25,000 years ago, Neanderthals and Denisovans went extinct. And this is one of our biggest evolutionary mysteries. How did these two human species go extinct and why? So what do we know about these two subgroups of humans, the Neanderthals and Denisovans? Neanderthals lived in Eurasia and we know them from multiple fossils. The first one discovered was way back in the 1820s, but the first to be identified as distinct from Homo sapiens was in the 1850s and it was discovered in the Neander Valley in Germany. Thus, they are called Neanderthals. Neanderthals were painted as stupid and primitive and some stereotypical depictions in fact still show them this way. But we know that the reality was quite different. Neanderthals were able to build solid dwellings, they were able to use sophisticated stone tools, they could weave and they wore clothes, they used various cooking techniques, they consumed a wide variety of animals, they produced art in the form of rock paintings, they created ornaments made of shells and they were familiar with music. Some studies say that they also had early versions of religious beliefs and most scientists think that they were likely able to talk and had the ability of speech. Neanderthal fossils have been discovered in multiple locations in places like Russia, Spain and Croatia. Neanderthals interbred not just with Homo sapiens but also with Denisovans with whom they coexisted. Denisovans were first identified only in 2010 and the fossils by contrast are very few in number when compared to Neanderthals. They've only been recovered from two caves, one in Russia called the Denisova cave and another in China very recently. They're also all smaller in size, the fossils themselves such as a finger bone or a tooth only. We have a total of only seven Denisovan fossils. Three are single molars, one is a partial jaw bone and three are pieces of bones. Of these, one is very interesting. Called Denisova 11 or Denny, this girl, likely 13 years of age and lived 90,000 years ago, was a hybrid who was exactly half Denisovan and half Neanderthal. Her 2 cm long bone fragments DNA analysis revealed that she had a Neanderthal mother and a Denisovan father. There are stories about all this, they'll be linked in the description box below. So why did Neanderthals and Denisovans eventually disappear? For a long time, we thought that Homo sapiens warred with these cousin species, fighting over resources like food or water or territory or something or the other, and we eventually wiped them out by overpopulation. There are, of course, other contributing factors such as disease. But as we obtain more fossil evidence and perform genetic sequencing of our own selves, a newer picture is emerging that of love and not war. More and more evidence seems to point to the fact that these two subgroups of humans disappeared by interbreeding and getting absorbed into the human population. This is what a recent study from last week also showed. Researchers recovered genome-wide data from the oldest modern humans who lived in Europe about 43,000 years ago from Bulgaria. Their genetic material revealed that these humans actually were interbreeding with Neanderthals. And the larger implication of the study was that eventually Neanderthals got absorbed into the human population. Today, we don't have multiple species of humans. We are all one species, Homo sapiens. But how we got to be who we are is a mystery that we have been working on for years and are now making huge strides of progress in.